anybody know what spoken word is? It's sort of a poetry to music, and then it turns into a rap. I'm just hoping that you understand all the words, because sometimes I don't understand them. <laughs> it's about creation all the way until salvation. So the song is called Creation to Salvation. So let there be life, and creation began. And God saw that it was good, so we continue with his plans. And he brought forth the earth from sea with a command, and in his very own image he breathed life into land, and it was perfect. Not a scratch or a flaw between the Lord and his creation, no separation at all until the one was deceived and caused the other one to fall, and they were thrown out of the gate without a way to climb its wall, and it was hopeless. In a world of desperation and trial and tribulation and disorientation, and this is what it's like when we live in separation from God. So open up your eyes and rise and realize that there's some new emotion that's building up inside you. It sets a limitation on what you can and what you can't do according to a system against all that is true. It's got you. And the rest of society entangled in its web made of fear and anxiety. You run from the voice of the Lord, scared that he'll release all the wrath that was stored for the sons and the daughters of hell. Satan and all of his angels that fell. And even before you, the scriptures tell that they will not prevail. But you're scared because you disobey God as well. spoken. The penalty for this disobedience is death. And now you've got to face a consequence according to the evidence of living in a house painted by your sinfulness and running out of fear, not knowing that the Father is following because he says that you were made for more than this. And so he stepped down into time and space. He took sin upon himself, hung in our place, and with nails in his hands and blood on his face, he says, this is grace. And it covers up the most shameful thing that you have done and it's big enough for every living thing under the sun, and so it's time to forget the doubt to which we've clung, for God so loved the world that he sent his only son.